And I remember what we left down here last night. <sighs> My 45 from 1982. Wow. Prince 1999. It's not even that yellowed. Remember this? You know these words. Wars all around us. Mind <laughs> says prepare to fight. So if I gotta die, I'm gonna listen to my body tonight. <laughs> Those first couple lines sound like they could be like death metal. They say 2000, zero, zero, party over. Oops, I'm out of time. So tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Yeah. They have some weirder stuff on there. Like, I think that they took out for a regular radio play. Yeah. Like that weird intro. Yeah, um, you're going to hear the weird intro. <laughs> <laughs> well, it comes in at the end of the song, too. Yeah. But and um, by then you're already you're already into it. But I was kind of felt cheated by the uh, original radio version because they the chopped end, that right off. They go like, this is going to freak people out. Yeah, They go into all that jangly, you know, you immediately knew it was Prince guitar yeah. playing. And that yeah. also was, was a treat. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So. We're actually focusing on the 2001 album from From Ashes Rise. Uh, it's called Silence. So the late 90s and early 2000s, we found ourselves awash in great hardcore from catharsis, infest, tragedy, and a ton of others. But for some reason, this four piece from Nashville seemed to steal most of the listens. Uh, there's something about the two guitar tandem of Brad Boatwright and John Wilkerson that gave the early From Ashes Rise records a sort of enlightened Neocross vibe. Despite the influx of cool bands around this time, most of them did not have two guitarists playing off each other like these two. Evidence that there's a lot more lurking in the composition of this band than verse, chorus, verse about equality or working your shitty job. Silence was the band's second vinyl slab. All of the material had already been released on a full discography CD the year prior. This was the era of the CD. Uh, and the song lengths are all over the map from under a minute to three to four minute mini epics, demonstrating another interesting dimension of this quartet. Eleven songs span 22 minutes, but the layered introspective segues, slow building drama and hard hitting percussion combine distinctively for maximum impact. So this song is called Accomplishment. <laughs> Drummer Dave Atchison offers plenty of speeding rage and cuts like public service and blood on the screen, but it's actually the slow to mid-tempo segments of this record that are the most fascinating. Center of the World is the longest cut on the album, essentially two songs melded into one, the brawny power chords of the first segment giving way to the instrumental guitar that sounds like a merciful fate intro. Beware the Golden Tide is another slow burn intro full of dark dissidents that eventually explodes into raging speed. Wilkerson and Boatwright trading off husky shouts at a discharge friendly pace. The Widow is another lengthy track that toys with crushing mid paced riffing before slipping through the cosmic wormhole once again into echoey guitar arpeggios. There is a very metallic vibe to the way the band changes gears and how prominent the guitar arrangements are in the overall sound. The band would go on to release another full-length album and several singles before shifting into silent mode uh, in 2012. And this is an essential pickup for fans of hardcore and or crossover metal. Silence is anything but. This song is called Trading Children. <laughs> Snaggletooth Extreme Metal Podcast. Yeah. 